What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to import stems into Reason and organize your Reason session, whatever you would like to call your Reason file song. <laughs> There's not exactly a word for it, but I'm going to show you how to organize that once you get stems into it. Like for example, it doesn't have to be stems, but I'm mixing a client's stems beat for them and they sent it in stem form so i'm going to show you how i would organize it and you can apply this to anything with your beats already you know laid out in there you don't have to bounce everything out to wave file just to mix this is just how they decided to send it to me so you can mix without bouncing to wave i know someone is going to ask so i'm just going to answer that ahead of time all right, now in order to get this into Reason, I'm just going to drag it in. It may take a while to load depending on the file size, but uh, I'll go ahead and catch up with you when it's done loading. And just want to mention, you may also ask me if it's any better to mix with Wave versus using your regular plugins. I would say it depends on your computer. If your computer can handle the original files being in there then definitely you can mix with your plugins there without bouncing to wave otherwise it's up to you if you need the cpu then bouncing to wave is definitely your best friend all right i've bounced this or i've moved these stems into my template my tracking template because it has uh mix channels for beat sounds drum sounds and instruments and all that so i decided to to just drag it into that so i do have a tutorial where i walk you through that from beginning to end i'll have that up in the cards but right now i know the first problem we're facing is the tempo of this beat now in my template it's 120 and reason automatically stretches it so I know this is way too slow than what it's supposed to be. So I would select all of these, right click and disable stretch. And that's gonna get it back to the original tempo. Now what's important is that I change the tempo. So I need to figure out what the tempo is. We can do this in reason. Just by tapping this, I'm not going to play the beat in the background because I don't have permission from the producer to do so. However, I'm going to mute this and I'll show you how I found the tempo, tempo just by tapping. I'll actually uh, solo some of the drums and we'll do that as a better option. So just tap along with the drums. Three, four, two, two, three, four. So 100 is definitely the BPM. So we're going to stick with 100 there. And then I will go through and name everything one by one. So master section, if they sent you the stems from reason, the master section is going to be basically their reference. OK, so I'm just going to put reference. This is how they may have mixed the beat and want it to sound and want you to mix in relation to. So they might have a certain sound as the focal point and you're going to follow this reference so that you get close to their mix but of course you make it sound better so i would just go through all of these sounds and name them depending on what they are or move them to the relative spot in my template so let's see what this is so that is a symbol so i'm going to move this down here i do not have a spot for a symbol in my template so I'm going to put symbol there and we can color code it to match the color of the other drums, light olive. And then this one right here, solo that open hi-hat. So I'll just drag that down because that's already on my temp template. going to delete this by pressing command, holding command and then hitting delete. Let's see what this next one is. We got a second open hi-hat here. So what I'll do here is click on this open hi-hat and I'm gonna put alt and that's gonna create a second open hi-hat track and I'm just gonna drag that down. Then we'll delete that as well. Let's see what this next one is. So we got a snare. Let's see what the one above it is. We got a clap there. So here I'm gonna put under snare two and I'll change the name to clap. It doesn't matter where you change the name. I just 
accidentally double clicked it and it sent me to the uh i double clicked it in the wrong place and it sent me to the rack but that's going to be the clap and then we'll put the snare here change that name to snare and then we'll see what's next here this is the kick and let's see what this is got a cool percussion going here um i'll probably take that and put it down here on sound five and change the name to percussion just for now and then we'll change it in a second let's see what this next one is sample so i'm gonna put this right here under sample and he did kind of name these already some of them are some of them aren't we could change the color of this so we could see the wave more clearly it's really dark with that green we see there's some information right here all right cool so we know what that is let's uh move this down whoops i didn't mean to grab the razor tool gonna move this down and put it under sound four just gonna put this in under stab so i know what it is later you can call it whatever you would like to call call things when you're organizing let's solo this all right that's like a guitar riff i'm gonna call that riff and the important thing is to name them things that you're gonna remember it doesn't necessarily have to be things that were in the tracks themselves next we got not these i need to go up not seeing any information here gonna make the waves bigger by clicking this button and this is empty so i'm just gonna delete it the next one we got a 808 all right cool so let's drag this 808 down to this file this track right here and then this one appears to be empty too so we'll just delete that and this is the hi-hat we were looking for so let's put that here next we got this it might be a riser or something transition dope all right cool we'll put that on sound two and then all that we have left is the reference so right here i'm gonna put transition all right gonna get rid of all of these command delete and i already have a track for my reference just gonna drag that up there and get rid of this one now everything is organized up here i would get my kick 808 clap snare open hi-hat uh open hi-hat alt so i'm gonna change this to open hi-hat 2 hi-hat symbol i like my hi-hat to be above the open hi-hats let's change the color of these drums to burgundy and then we have the sample samples good there stab i'm gonna move this riff up above the transition and i'm gonna put this perk loop up here with the other drums change the color to burgundy all right now you'll notice these are kind of out of order i'll just drag that up and i want to make sure this is going to my drum bus again if you want to see that tutorial i did going through my entire template go check that out all right let's change the color of this to match all right and that is basically how i would organize this beat right so we do have a lot of uh, dead air at the end so we could cut that out as well and then we could move our end marker by holding down shift i always jump to everything else first all right and then i would basically start mixing from there now if you would like to use the mixer to mix you can do that as well 
it is all completely up to you you see everything is organized everything that would be a part of this beat is all in this area well if there were happen to be vocals on top of this it would be on the right side don't forget to subscribe let me know what you would like to see next it's all culture kickback and cook up Yeah, fuck you, man.